allergies and asthma have plagued humankind for many, many years. And uh, unfortunately, our medical management of those conditions have uh, really been just purely symptom treatment without addressing what is causing uh, the allergies or the asthma. Uh, asthma has certainly an allergic component to it. And uh, when I have a patient with, with allergies or asthma, I try and make sure that we address all parts of their life so that I understand what they're possibly getting exposed to, uh, what they're eating and what they're drinking, and what their lifestyle is like. And that will help me really get to the, to the main point of of what's causing this underlying inflammation, which is asthma and also certainly a component of allergies. Conventional treatment really focuses on some basic categories, which are uh, steroid treatment, bronchodilators, and immune modulators. And uh, unfortunately, what we've seen, even with the advent of all these new medications, asthma rates continue to rise. The hospitalizations have certainly gone down because we've learned how to medically manage severe cases, but we're not controlling the rates of asthma. And the medications that we've been using in conventional medicine are, are simply just treating the symptoms. So from a naturopathic approach, again, we're looking at diet and lifestyle and vitamin and mineral status, uh, uh, emotional factors, all of these can affect uh, allergies as well as asthma. And by treating those underlying symptoms, we can really uh, take care of what is causing the inflammation. And the inflammation is what is the cause of the symptoms that we see. There is no typical patient, but there are typical conditions. No patient is going to react to the same treatment as the next patient. It's, it, it can't just be a protocol-based medicine. They want to look at naturopathic medicine as something that they can put into a protocol and actually use those protocols for patients, but it, it doesn't work like that because naturopathic medicine is very individualized. And um, again, it's only typical conditions, but every patient is different. We had a, uh, a five-year-old with seasonal allergies and uh, patient had uh, chronically been waking up with uh, a congested nose and uh, itchy runny eyes and came around every season, every fall time and springtime when everything's blooming here in Arizona. Uh, looking at that child's diet, looking at uh, homeopathic medicines that will be very specific to him as an individual. Uh, and looking at certain vitamins and minerals that we know are deficient in children that have allergies, uh, we were able to treat this child and their symptoms decreased by a large amount. And now the child virtually needs no allergy medication during the heights of the allergy season. It used to be that naturopathic medicine was the traditional approach and now it has somehow become the alternative or complementary to conventional medicine, which is actually quite backwards. Um, I see naturopathic medicine as expanding to something where we are really the, uh, the primary gatekeepers to, uh, to medical care because by treating the root cause of all illness, we prevent long-term issues. Um, things like heart disease and autoimmune disease and arthritis, um, all of those can be prevented even at childhood. And uh, naturopathic medicine has an opportunity uh, with the amount of time that we spend and with the understanding that we have of the patient as a whole to really prevent those things from happening later on in life.